We're here on the Grady Wards with Dr. Christina Lundberg, Assistant Professor of Medicine, who is rounding with her student, Dr. M3, Cicely Chin, and we're talking about what it means to be curious. Um, you know, I think one of the big things I like to do is just say this is something that I've encountered before or maybe not encountered before and be honest about it. Um, and then a lot of times, um, talk as a team, what do we think are good ideas? Um, who do we think we should get involved? Who do we think we should ask? But one of the things I really like to do um, is say, okay, let someone take accountability on the team right now for this question. Let's look at the literature um, and let's come back and try to form a plan based on that. Um, I, I used to have a thing that I called our, our question of the day, our clinical question of the day. Okay. Um, and so sort of everybody around the team, there are five members, each person, um, each day would come up with um, a clinical question, something along these lines that we're curious about or we're not quite sure how to manage, um, and report back to the team. Um, and really you can do that by phoning a friend, asking a colleague, um, asking someone who may have more expertise than you, so calling up your GI fellow or your GI attending. Um, but most often it's going to the literature and just getting good at really coming up with a search, um, a clinical question and searching literature and coming up with um, your thoughts on it. And Cicely, right now, are you were you just rounding one on one with your attending? Um, yes, I was. I'm here now with Dr. Imad Kayed, assistant professor of medicine in the division of gastroenterology, and we're talking about what it means to be curious. And we were We're just talking a bit uh, about what happens when clinical questions come up with your learners, who are mostly, as I learned from you, fellows. Yeah, so, um, you know, basically um, I deal a lot with fellows. I do almost two-thirds of my work with fellows. So sometimes with the routine uh, procedures it gets a little bit uh, boring. You're doing the same thing uh, over and over. So uh, what I do is try to, you know, come up with clinical uh, questions uh, to um, uh, sometimes clinical problems, sometimes everyday stuff that we do. For example, if we're doing a colonoscopy on someone who's uh, 65 or even a little bit older, 70, you, um, you know, what I do is um, I can say, well, if we don't find a polyp, mm -hmm. did we miss a polyp? What mm -hmm. was the incidence of finding something significant in this colonoscopy? And what's the uh, chances that, you know, um, people at this age will not have a polyp or not have an advanced adenoma? So if I know the question, uh, which is sometimes, not all the times, obviously, I'll mm -hmm. uh, say, well, I read this, there's a nice table in this article, so, mm -hmm. so why don't you go look it up and, uh, you know, we'll discuss it. If I don't know the question, which is most of the time, <laughs> uh, I, um, you know, I'll either go look it up myself, depending on the workflow later. Do you do so, that in real time? Do you do PubMed searches in real time with your fellows? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, I mean, in between procedures we have sometimes, they'll be dictating or we'll have sometimes in between the turnover. So, yes, we'll, we'll do it, um, you know, right then and there. Not necessarily doing the procedure, but right <laughs> then. Because if we postpone stuff, I, I, I find we'll most likely not look it up later. Okay. So, and if I just say look up something, we'll discuss it tomorrow, I really make sure we discuss it the next day and uh, remind them. So it's just basically um, uh, coming up with questions, uh, not, uh, not, being, um, not uh, to be satisfied with just you know, r random answers or you know, things taken for granted and just uh, look up the answers. Thank you. Dr. Christina Lundberg and I teach 12.